We started with a can, added 200, no 250, no 300 milligrams of natural caffeine, extracted from plants. Yeah, plants. So you could do this, but not this. Vitamins B3, B6, B12, you're welcome. BCAAs, that just happened. Plus electrolytes, because sweat, and CoQ10, because we had room. And then we made it taste good, without the sugar. Now, go drink it. That's how we made rain, total, body, fuel. Ukraine, a country with breathtaking history in the geographic heart of Europe. For centuries, different civilizations were contending for its rich lands and hardworking nation. But the spirit of Ukrainian unity and true love for its own homeland prevailed and even became a shelter to different nations from all over the world. Nowadays, Ukrainian landscapes, architecture, people and traditions are diverse yet unique and exciting. Hospitable, friendly, open-minded, and strong people live here. It is the land of Cossacks, world-famous scientists, writers, artists, Hollywood stars. It is the native land of Alexei Novikov. Dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome you on today's outstanding event world record-breaking attempt. Four-time Ukrainian strongest man, one of the top 10 athletes in the world, and in the same time, the youngest one, Alexei Noviko, will try to beat 100 kilo dumbbell. Are you excited? Because I do. Let's join the show. Alexei Noviko! My motherland is a charming Ukraine. I was born uh, in its uh, noble capital, Kyiv. Some part of my life uh, I was in a role um, small brother. That's uh, the point where my story begins. My name is Alex and I'm Alexei's bigger brother, elder one, if to be correct. All our childhood we were together and with our grandpa traveled across the Ukraine to watch different strongman competitions. I was a teenager and started to visit a gym with my older brother. He advised me to contact with professional coach for safety training. At the early beginning, all the family had a lot of skepticism and worries. This sport is really danger and full of injuries. But after our first competition in Lithuania, where Alexei got in top three, everything has changed. So yeah, the greatest motivation for me now is the fact that my mom, dad, brother, sister, grandpa, granny and even dogs are the main fans and supports of my success. For now, I am one of the top 10 athletes in the world. I am very proud of it and I work hard to become better 
uh, each day. Today all the family works like one watch and every year on the right place. Mom and sister cook, grandpa and dad make equipment, support team during tournaments is my mission. We'll always be near him, helping to become a legend. I dream about World Strongest Man, uh, World Ultimate Strongman, Arnold Strongman Classic titles. And remember, no excuses, only way up. And welcome to the World's Ultimate Strongman Strength Feet Series. It's Saturday the 30th of May. I'm here with Lauren Shally, and we are about to witness Alexei Novikov, the young tyrant attempt 100 kilo giant dumbbell for repetitions. How's it going, Laws? How are you? Really good, buddy. I'm really excited to be back for another feat of strength this week. We've already had some amazing feats go down. Last week, Tom Stoltman breaking the stone record. This week, we've got another one of the top youngsters in the world in Alexei Novikov going for a 100 kilo dumbbell for repetitions in 75 seconds. I think uh, what's awesome to see, especially from uh, the, the intros into the feats of strength, is the, the the sort of background of the athletes. That's the first time I've sort of seen uh, those clips on, on Alexei. Yeah, definitely. I was just watching that myself and, and it was really quite, um, I think he even thanked his, like, his, his, his support network. He included his dogs in that yeah, you know, yeah, to, yeah. to see how his family kind of have got around him and really helped him. And it, it just shows, you know, what a talented athlete he is, but how important having that support is. I, I know myself as an athlete, you know, it's very, very lonely as a competitor and you do need that support network, network around you. And he's obviously got a great family, very, very supportive. And he, he's, you know, already at such a young age, one of the best strength athletes in the world. Yeah, it's crazy. I think, he, is he 24 this year? I uh, yeah, I think he's still currently 23. Um, yeah, yeah, he's he's an incredible athlete. I've I've competed against him a couple of times now, and I've seen him in many many contests. And he's really explosive and dynamic. He's fast. You know, he he's just a, a very good all round athlete. He's not the biggest chunkiest guy out there, but he makes sure he gets every single muscle fiber of his his being into each movement he does. And you know, he's only going to grow and and get bigger and stronger. And his future is is looking bright. Yeah, he's, he's definitely a bit of a, a dark horse um, in terms of being an all-round athlete and, and being very young. He has that, that time to progress and push into, let's say, the top three podium. Sort Without of question. Of, yeah. I mean, he, he's been talked about big time in, in many contests recently and he's made a few, you know, mistakes, which youngsters do. And, you know, I've spoken to him in, in, in the past and I, I've watched him being... If, for want of a better word, older and wiser, if you like, because I've made all those mistakes myself in the past. I, I sometimes kind of see him competing very regularly. You think maybe he needs to be a little bit more selective about his show, his contests. But I think this enforced break that he's had to have is actually going to help him because he's been focused on you know these records. He's not beating himself up week on week doing contests. I think I think he's you know it's probably been a really good thing for him, and. I think going forward, if he's selective about his shows, keeps training hard, this this kid can do some big, big things in the sport. Yeah, and, and as you say, he's very fresh on the scene. I think his first pro pro show was last year. Yeah, was I think... Um, yeah. Well, he and he, and he, he won South America Arnold's. He He's done very, very well, but he, he's competed a lot in that short time frame. And, yeah. um, you know, he's just burst onto the scene, like I've already said. And, and events like this, he's, he's really specializing the dumbbell he's very good at stone carrying you know he's a lot smaller than the guys we've seen in the last few few weeks i think he's only about six foot one you know body body weight wise he's one of the smaller guys but you can even just see there warming up on the dumbbell how explosive he is how dynamic you know he gets every single bit of his body into this movement and punches yeah. that punch punches the weight overhead very very efficiently and effectively yeah, I think that's that's one we, we need to look out for uh, today is his technique. It's almost flawless. Look at that. That is, yeah. that is absolutely um, beautiful to watch. Yeah, no, he's, he's um, his, his technique is, is second to none. I think I think the only other guy on the dumbbell is probably Mateos Kieliskowski. Um, yeah, Kieliskowski's done some incredible things on the dumbbell as well. You know, he's I, I think he's the current record holder for maximum weight. But today we're doing slightly different events, so it's it's 100 kilos, which is 220 pounds, for maximum repetitions. 
to put that into perspective, that's my body weight, 100 yeah. kilos. <laughs> so he's, so he's pressing. A grown man above his head. A, a big well, grown man as well. You're a, well, you're a strong man, Mark. You're, you're a, you're less a, I mean, of a grown man with my beard. <laughs> gone, but. It's looking smooth. You're looking good there. Looking <laughs> I fresh. Sharpen up I'm, for the occasion. I'm, I'm just getting more and more grizzly as the weeks go on in lockdown. <laughs> I'll, I'll need to send you a brush over there or a set of clippers. <laughs> <laughs> so today, obviously, we have uh, Zudrunas Savickas uh, back on the scene as the official referee. Um, he's going to have a few points to note in terms of uh, the dimensions of the dumbbell, um, how high the platform is that Alex is going to be dropping it on. Obviously, he's going to make sure that Novikov is fully locked out and his hips and uh, torso are in line. And yeah, he's going to be in charge today yet again. Zadrunas will be back to work this week. Obviously, last week there wasn't an awful lot for him to do. But he, 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 you know, with the dumbbell, it is all about making sure the athlete is steady, the, the, the dumbbell will be fixed and locked out overhead. It's um, it's a little bit more for, for Zadrunas to do, and it's not even a one repper this time. It's it's for repetition, so he's going to be watching. Um, we we know with the 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 log, Zadrunas can take a little bit longer on the down signal, so I don't know how that will affect the um, the time limit that that Novikov has, whether that will affect his rhythm or not. But looking at his his technique in the warm ups, he his lockout looked extremely efficient and strong. So I yeah. don't think it'll be an issue. Yeah, no, so what we've done today is we actually have a referee on the ground who will be given the, the down signals and uh, Big Z will essentially be overwatch and he'll be sort of given the final call on yes or no. The, um, but we will, we will have someone on the ground sort of giving the signals. Obviously, Ukraine right now, the lockdown isn't as strict as, as the UK, that's for sure. Oh. He's got a lot more people there than we'd be allowed right now. But... <laughs> Things are things are improving, so hopefully we'll be back in gyms training soon and back to some full contests as well. Well, hopefully, hopefully we, we've we've just opened up in Dubai, but we have oh. to wear face masks. Are you? Is it is it limited to a certain amount of, of people in the gym at a time? Yeah, fifty percent capacity, and uh, well, you have to not, book for sixty minutes. Face mask on at all times. Yeah. It's, it's still better than we have here. The, I think that we're looking at the soonest that we'll be able to train in gyms over here is probably looking at um, July. So still a, wow. another another wait, uh, uh, a month to wait. And I think you can probably tell I'm itching to get back in the gym. Watching these events each week, it's, it, like, you know, I watched the deadlift and I wanted to go deadlift. I watched the log, I wanted to go do the log. <laughs> you, see these, you, know, you see these awesome feats of strength and it, it does motivate you. And uh, it still motivates me after doing Strongman for as long as I have. Seeing these guys perform like they are, it, it, it is uplifting and it's exciting to see. And I, I've always been a fan of Strongman, you know, way before I even lifted a weight. So, and I think I always will be. So I'm, yeah. I, I'm enjoying it and it's it's just great to be a part of it. I know, that's that's what's good as well. Just being a spectator, it gives you that fire to sort of go and lift some weights or go and train or yeah, gives you that buzz. It is good. This This is so much better than just, you know, sitting around waiting for... For strongman to be back, the, the 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 way the world ultimate strongman have given us this opportunity, the athletes are loving it, the fans are loving it. There's people talking about it online. It's it's been really really good. So what do you think with Novikov today? How many reps do you think he's got in the bag? Oh, he's such a far. The thing with Novikov is I've seen him occasionally go like a bat out of you know a, a bull in a china shop sometimes if you like, and he can make errors and make mistakes. The if rhino. Depends, I think. I think we need to give him a new nickname. Yeah. The rhino. If if he controls that that kind of if he can compose himself and focus on his technique and his efficiency, I think he's going to smash this record. You know, I, I can see double digits. Um, it, it's just occasionally in contests I've seen him make silly mistakes, and that is you know his youth is and his, his inexperience, and hopefully the contests that he's had over the last couple of years have given him more experience. He's he's in familiar grounds, which will will help today. Um, and I, I can really see him, you know, at least getting double figures on this. He times yeah. it right, hits each rep how he should. I mean, like I said, technically, in the warm-ups then, he looked absolutely superb. So it's making sure that technique transfers now to the heavier weights, which I'm sure it will. I know he's done a lot more than this for one rep. It's then how the conditioning is and, and not making any silly mistakes so he doesn't drain that energy that he'll have for his, you know, end goal. 
Yeah, I think in training he was hitting 80 kilos for 10 reps, and and they they were they, every single rep was the exact same from the pick up to the press. And then I, I don't know if you've noticed how how he controls the weight down. It's something the first person to really do that was Derek Poundstone. And he, he took it to another level in terms of performance on the dumbbell by being efficient. And it's something when I'm training people, I'm always talking about, it doesn't matter if you're the strongest guy, you need to be effective with it as well. And I saw, yeah. I've seen Novikov beat the likes of Ian Bibby on the dumbbell before because he's better at it. He's not yeah. a strong, not stronger in the shoulders. I, I genuinely believe Ian Bibby to be the strongest man in the shoulders for pure strength on the planet. But guys like... You know, um, Christoph Radzikowski, uh, um, Kiliaskowski, yeah, Novikov. Um, they're, they're they're technically better. They're they're a little bit more skillful in the movement, and their their fitness is a little bit better for these type of repetitions. And if we just uh, look in here, we've got the guys weighing the dumbbell, one hundred kilos point one. Um, hopefully, oh, okay. Big Z will get eyes on that and give the thumbs up. Yeah. Was that um, Vasil Verastic we just saw kind of sneaking in? His yeah, former, it was. Former, former world strongest man in 2004. Okay, he was one of my absolute favourites when I was kind of getting into strongman. Yeah, so that was quite a quite a cool thing to see. I didn't know he'd be there today, but um, yeah, he's. I think he's yeah. there in support. Excellent. That, that's cool. He he really was a, an incredible strongman. I don't know if you know too much about him, but he won the IFSA World Championships. He won World Strongest Man. He he was such a, a a powerful athlete, strong legs, very, very fast at things like yokes and farmers' walks. And I think he really put strong man on the map also, we need, in the uh, Ukraine. So, you know, guys like Novikov have, have obviously seen him and been inspired. Yeah. Do you think he would have given also, you a run for your money on the yoke? The measurement. Oh, he, he was fast. He really was. Yeah. You know, whether he was big laws fast is, is, <laughs> is yet to be seen. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> he, he, you know, he, it's it's all generational. You've got guys that are overtaking me now on those type of events. Kilias Koski, he's unbelievable at the moving events. So, you know, I, I had my time. I, I, <laughs> I had my yoke run in, in Dubai a couple of years ago where I beat absolutely everyone. And I, I, can, <laughs> I can retire yeah, happy you know, now. You, you nearly ran off the stage. <laughs> I, I was switched on for that one. I was um, yeah. I was definitely up for that, that day. Fired up for it. And, and that's one one thing um, with Novikov. He, he, he doesn't um, express his emotions. It's almost as though he channels everything inside. He's always very, he, he, very he stern, very uh, composed in how, how he goes about things. Like he, I think, he'll, I think he'll look this relaxed when he's lifting. It's quite an Eastern Bloc type of, you know, mentality, I think. You, you, you don't see them express too much emotion. They, they don't, you know, uh, use up too much energy. A lot of guys that, that kind of get themselves psyched up and, and they burn a lot of energy before they even lift. He's trying to save it for the actual lift. But even when he does it, sometimes you don't even see too much energy. It's, yeah. it's all put into the, the actual lift. He's a, he's a calm character, you know. I, I was... I, 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 I didn't realize he was young as he was when I first met him, but he's uh, partly because of how strong he was, <laughs> yeah, part, yeah. partly because of that kind of controlled, you know, uh, emotion that he has. You see some of the younger guys and they're, they're all over the place. They're, they're listening to kind of music. They're putting, you know, blankets over their heads and then they're getting all psyched up. Whereas Novikov is a lot, a lot more calculated, a lot more thoughtful. And then when it's time to unleash, he switches on. Yeah. I think in the long run as well, that, that will benefit him. If he can keep this composure and just start or, or continue to uh, build his knowledge and how to compete in terms of learning from his mistakes, this, this oh, will definitely help him in the long one, run. 100%. I, I was completely opposite. You know, I was a, I, I was a very emotional kind of athlete. And, <laughs> yeah. you know, I'd psych myself up. I'd beat myself with a stick. <laughs> and it was great for one or two events. But then in a, in a six event contest by event three, event four, event five, you were just drained. And I, I, it took me a long time to, to kind of understand that I had to control it. Uh, you know, it was it's still I still find when I release that in a beast, if you like, it allows me to do some special things. But if you let it go too far, it's not good in terms of the whole competition. So understanding how to control those emotions is very important. And he's mastered it from a young age. Yeah. And the guys are just sort of getting the dimensions of the dumbbell. They're going to get the diameter of the bell and the height Better. of the actual dumbbell. 
No. Can they? Again, we're just getting all the measurements for um, for all yeah, these yeah, records. The weights are always going to be weighed in front of us, in front of Zadrunas to see. The uh, the handle isn't isn't necessarily relevant as part of the measurements, but the, they're measuring it in, anyway, just to show Zadrunas. Zadrunas is looking on there. I think he's happy. <laughs> yeah. It's always it's always hard to tell when when Zadrunas is is about. He, he's As another... you say, it's, a, it's an Eastern European yeah. thing, right? And uh, he's, he, he's actually a very funny guy when you get to know him. But he's got a very dry sense of humor. Yeah. And yeah. if you don't, if you don't know him, you just you don't know how to take him sometimes. Um, I'm not sure what they're discussing right now. Uh, I don't speak uh, Russian. Uh, I think they're, uh, they're, they're communicating that we need to, to uh, yeah, the, the bell. So they need the <laughs> diameter, not the circumference. So they'll probably work with the side of the dumbbell. Um, there's obviously a little nut on the end there that they'll need to sort of work around in terms of measuring. The thing with the, with dumbbells, they're they're all very different mm -hmm. in, in shape and diameter, and and you know yeah, even yeah, in contest yeah, weight yeah. varies yeah, from, from comp to comp. Yeah. It's a little yeah, bit different yeah, yeah, to some yeah. of the other records that we've had, like the deadlift and the log for max, if you like. Diameter. Yeah. This is the, fir this is the first time we've seen a repetition record attempt uh -huh. as part of this series. So it's something different for you guys, and a little bit more normal for a, for a proper contest. Yeah, because that, that as well was the, the sort of static movements. There's always the dynamic movements that are, are under time. If anything, the majority of the strongman competitions, um, the majority of the competition itself will be the dynamic movements. There's not only necessarily one maximum lift per. Yeah, yeah, normally you're looking at five to six events in a contest with one max event. Um, you know, a number of moving events, a repetition event. It always varies from competition to competition. That's what's, for me, it's, it's the exciting thing about Strongman is you can never predict anything because we all have different strengths. We all have different weaknesses and every contest is different. So you, you have to be a real good all-round athlete to be winning contest after contest. But we're, we're seeing a lot of guys that specialize in certain events taking on these records and it's giving Athletes that maybe, you know, aren't the, the, the Thor Bjornsons and the really well-known guys a chance in the spotlight. Yeah, that's it. And that is, um, it's one of our sort of ethos is to get the, these guys out on the spotlight for the spectators and the fans and the community to actually learn yeah. about these athletes. Because um, Novikov is, is really a dark horse in, in the strongman game. He really is. I, I think it's. I think it's really inspiring as well. Especially, he, he, he's not a big lad. He's he's very young. Yeah, I mean, we looked at Tom Stoltman last um, week, who's him. become very popular over the last couple of years. And Tom is a giant. You know, he's six foot nine. He's two hundred. Uh, sorry, one hundred and sixty plus kilos. Novikov is about six foot one, one hundred and thirty to one hundred and thirty five kilos max. He's a much smaller athlete, but he is one of the best. And it just yeah. shows, I think it's good for people to see different body shapes and different size okay. athletes. Yeah, you know, it's now, it's good uh, as well if, if you're around the six foot mark, yeah. this is the kind of guy yeah. you should be yeah. trying to look yeah. at his technique and pick up tips from. Uh -huh. If you're six foot nine, go and watch guys like Thor and, um, you know, Tom. It's good to look at different athletes and see that it's possible, no matter what your shape, no matter what your, your leverages are, there's ways of doing things. And, exactly. and all the athletes yeah. have little technical mm -hmm. You know, changes and, and subtle things that they do slightly differently. You see, the guys are still uh, measuring the dumbbell just for just for the guys looking in. The the yeah. diameter of the yeah. the dumbbell can mm -hmm. range between ten and twelve inches, and the overall Mark, length can uh, be between twenty to twenty four yes. inches. So, um, as part of the rules, there is a, a little bit of a range, obviously. Yeah. A lot of the giant dumbbells vary in shape mm -hmm. and okay. size, okay, so fine, we've gave that good. range so that athletes can attempt it, but it's not too excessive to the point that um, it benefits anyone necessarily. Hopefully they'll 
finalise it soon. I'm sure Novikov is uh, itching to get on. Yeah, he, he, he will just oh, want to be lifting. As the yeah, athlete, you, you, don't, you don't really like the waiting around. It's You just want to be focused on the lifting. He uh, stood out the I way. He's letting really everyone else sort out this dumbbell. Do the measurements. Now he's coming to have a look at it, is he? Nope, he's off again. So this week, it's not like um, we've seen. He's not going to be doing lots of you know warm-up lifts in terms of uh, event lifts. He's only going to have one attempt at, at the... Um, the record it's set at 100 kilos i had some questions last week someone was saying with with the the the, the events like the, the max effort lifts like the deadlift and the log that someone was asking if it wastes their energy going for these attempts beforehand and and not at all with with max events you, you're trying to get your body prepared for these lifts there's no way i would just walk into the gym and deadlift 400 kilos or 400 plus just because it's just I'm that nervous of, system Getting the exactly nervous system that. firing. And it's, you know, we said last week, a lot of it is to do with getting used to the environment that you're lifting on. Just even going, a lot of the time in competition, you'll go from a warm-up area to the lifting area. And, and sometimes you just need a lift to, to get you used to that change and, and the change of equipment, the change of flooring. There's so many different aspects that can all affect when you are competing. So I wouldn't advise anyone just try and jump in and lift as much as you can. You need to get your body warmed up. You need to get your technique firing. Just like a tennis player would go out and practice a forehand before a match. They do their serves. They go through their forehands, yeah. their backhands. It's all getting yourself ready for, for the event. For, Mus muscle the memory, yeah. Uh, and uh, confidence as well. I think be going in and pulling a lighter weight and, and feeling that it's comfortable and, and it's firing gives you that extra five percent for me I, I, I mean you're you're a big deadlifter for myself when i go when i'm training and i pull 300 and it just moves really really quickly yeah it's a nice feeling you sort of think i'm feeling strong today and you know that those higher numbers are going to feel good um yeah. and it's you know when you pull 300 and it's it's hard and it's sluggish <laughs> Well, I mean, I'm talking, you know, 400 plus deadlifters, but it, it, it's a knock to the confidence if those lighter weights don't move well. So, you know, you, you, you want to make them feel easy and then it builds that confidence. You're like, yes, today I'm feeling good. I'm going to go and lift these big weights. No problem. So Novikov, he's um, circling that dumbbell, sniffing the ammonia, getting himself railed up, getting himself ramped up. This is higher. So we've got the 100 kilos loaded. Uh, Alexei, Alexei. So we just spoke earlier how he stays calm. You're just seeing him switch on a little bit now. <laughs> yeah. He's got the headphones in, geeing himself up. I think they're discussing... I think they're discussing the, the, the platform. I'll be honest with you, as an athlete, this isn't what you want. You want to be able to just get yeah, on with it. You, you know, he's focused on the lifting. There's a lot of talking going on for him. This will be yeah. distracting. Uh, yeah, that's that's one thing. Yeah, they're they're measuring the the height of the um, the actual implement itself. Does it have to come off a certain height? Uh, six inches. So no more than six inches. So this is another another factor, and especially with competing, these little things happen in competition, and uh, a lot of people say that um, these feats of strength will be easy. It's just another sort of gym lift, but all these little factors are going to take a toll on Novikov mentally. Yeah, he he won't be happy about this, not at all. And and as an experienced athlete, you've got to block it out, and you know he's got to walk away, he's got to kind of stay calm, refocus on the job at hand, let everyone sort this out. He needs to just keep calm and, and get himself focused on what he needs to do. But it is distracting, you know. I've, I've been in this situation before and it's not fun. You, 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 you mentally prepare yourself for these things. And then if you're told to wait suddenly again, it, it is off-putting. I think it's, I think it's Big Z uh, playing the, the mind games. <laughs> well, I think Zadronis is trying to make sure that all these attempts are, are refereed as strictly as possible, which I, I think is a good thing. But yeah. this could be, you know, maybe language barriers with, with rules and stuff like that can obviously have an effect. I think, well, Big Z being the, the, the known Alexei as the greatest of all time and just making sure everything is spot on. Yeah, the guys are going to change the platform now. So Novikov will obviously be used to using the tyre and the mat and training. So this last minute change will change things up a little bit, I think. 
It makes it interesting, definitely. You know, he won't he won't be happy about it. There's no no question about that. But he's 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 a calm athlete. I think he's going to be okay. I'm sure other athletes would be complaining a lot more. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. No, he looks he looks composed as ever. We are a community dedicated to those who love fitness and food. We have a mission to show that you can pursue your personal fitness goals and enjoy the process. We are committed to creating a community where you can be and should be proud of your body. No matter what stage of the fitness journey you are on. From fat to fit. Hit them PRs, make them gains, and eat that donut. Join the brand, join the message, join the movement. Hi, my meal is my power, so let's check this out. I like flavor of the meat. I've met Alexi near four years ago and after a small chat I realized that this guy has a uh, willing to win and for sure he ready to put all his efforts to do that. That was our starting point to find the right way with workout capacity, training process and nutrition. We found our perfect model to grow up and become stronger, even though at this exact moment it's his recovery session. No chance to work with maximum weight all the time, you just need always remember that we still are humans. Four or five meals per day with equal intervals and as a result 4000 calories for now and 7-8000 during his usual routine when we have an exact competition schedule. My body weight now 130 kilograms and 7000 calories enough for me. Vegetables and big portion of protein in the morning, carbohydrates with some fat in the noon and the same story for lunch and dinner for six days in a row. Sunday is a food-free day, the biggest challenge for each strongman. Meat, fish, eggs, vegetable and porridge are my basics. It's very important to keep a balance of vitamins and other ingredients. We are what we eat. I think they're just going to sort out that six inches, no more than six inches. I can't believe we're just sat here talking about six inches, Mark. <laughs> I know, yeah, yeah. Which we're, we're supposed to be we'll commenting on a strong day. man event. <laughs> <laughs> we'll save that for another day. So they're just. 
It's been quite a, quite a while from his uh, warm up left yeah, as well. Been, so it was a good 15, 20 minutes ago. Now, yeah. this is uh, he, <clears throat> this makes it interesting. You know, you you don't want to be cooling down. He's he's, he's obviously done his warm ups and he, he felt ready to go. He was preparing himself for that effort then. And then obviously we had this discussion about the flooring. Now they're bringing some new matting. Um, this could affect things like the the bounce of the yeah, if he's like not the recoil trained on this. and yeah, could be different. There's a awful lot of faffing about this week on the, on this event. So <laughs> yeah. It's 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 bringing a new dilemma, you know, a new um, issue that we do experience in contests, and it's something that's it's always good to to make people be aware of, because you'll often see top athletes not performing as maybe a higher level as you would expect in certain contests. I remember I did a I did a few contests years ago, where I was traveling all over the world. I went to. Um, Texas for a contest, then I flew to China, then I had to fly to Canada, all within a short period of time. And I remember I failed, a, I think it was 180 kilo Atlas stone. And I remember people online saying, oh, Loz failed 180 kilo stone, I can do that, blah, blah, without blah. Knowing, blah. Yeah, without you know, knowing what's... Without knowing, but, but the, these same people that were saying, oh, you know, I could do that, they'd lose to me in a contest. It's, yeah. there's, there's a lot of factors that do, you know, crop up in, in events. And... These type of events, like for instance, the dumbbell, it's a little bit more strong manny, rural kind of, you know, less standardized. The deadlift is yeah. much easier for us to set up because it's the same bar. You've got the calibrated plates. It's the same across the board. I think that's what a big difference with the, the Olympics is almost you've got, I think it's four years, the, the dates are set and you have that time to prepare, you know the platform mm -hmm. you're going to be lifting on, you you know the, the sort of equipment centimeters. you're going to be using. Um, Strongman, it se sort of separates the boys from the men and, and just sort of says, right, there's an implement, go and lift it. It does indeed. I've, I've always enjoyed that but side of Strongman, the variety and, and you know, the, 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 the different types of challenges and the way the you have primal. to adapt. primal, it's yeah. very primal. It, it really is. But the best guys, you look at the best guys and they manage, they, they will always adapt to, you know, they don't need to know every single uh, aspect of the uh, diameter of a handle or how high the platforms are going to be. And, and, you know, the, the best guys, they, they, they can adapt very, very quickly and they know if you're strong, you're strong. Yeah. And that's the beauty of Strongman as well, is just the, the, the aspects that can vary and, and the athletes that overcome those, those different aspects. So they're stripping out the, the, <laughs> the few layers. So they're, they're, they're making sure they stick to these rules. It's it's yeah. good. Obviously, not what they want to be doing right now. I'm I'm sure of that. If I was in that situation, I'd be like, oh come on, guys, let me get on with it. But um, we've got to make sure it's right. Do you think this will affect Novikov negatively or positively? What do we think? It's certainly not going to affect affect him positively. It's just a matter of him staying composed and thinking, okay, this has happened. I can't do anything about it. I've just got to focus on what I, I'm here to do. And that, that would be I, it's something I'm pretty good at these days is, is trying to block out the, the things I have no control over. And I think as long as he does that, it's not going to be an issue. He needs to keep moving around, keep the blood going around the body, make sure he stays warm. And he, he, he looks like he's just leaving everyone to do, to do, sort out the platform. He look, in his face, you can see he's still, he looks focused. Yeah, but there, I mean, there are there are people that would let this affect them. There's no question yeah. about that. I, I know plenty of people that this would affect. I just I'm hoping it's but not going to be him. even little things yeah. like wearing yeah. your support equipment equipment for longer than you sort of um, presume you're going to be having it on. That can have an effect as well. Even having that elbow uh, elbow sleeve on tight. Yeah. Well, I've got, I've got a training partner. If I put the plates on the wrong way around, that'll put him off. <laughs> and I, I do I do it all the time to annoy him but <laughs> it's it is funny how these little things can affect people 
Right, so he's just getting himself finalised, set up the dumbbell and the little platform is ready. So looking at this, I'm presuming he's going to keep it all on the right arm. With the wrist straps only on the one arm. It's just testing the bounce. So there are different athletes with dumbbells. Some are able to use both arms. Others prefer to stick with the one arm. Derek Poundstone was someone that was very, very good at you know changing. Um, then you get other athletes. Myself, I, I was I would always stick to my right arm. It just felt alien on the left arm when I was doing the dumbbell. So we're so going to wait for refocused. the on-ground referee. He's going to sort of give the the commands. Uh, this is the first time I've seen Novikov actually g himself up for this. Uh, he's switching on now. He's getting in the zone now. The headphones are off. There we go. Whistle. First rep. Easy. Easy. How he drops this is going to be the test. Obviously, with the new platform. Look how he brings it down onto the platform. It did bounce off, but you can see how he controls it in front of him. Trying to stay. Say, oh, that was a good lucky bounce there. <laughs> yeah. Need to catch this bounce. Yeah. Four reps. He's got confidence in the way that's going to flip back. Yeah. I... There we go. That's five reps. He's smashing this. He's flying. Absolutely smashing. The, reps, the, the actual reps are effortless. Yeah, no, no fatigue. No signs of fatigue. Let's remember this is 100 kilos. This is, you know, a 16 stone man. This is, you know, a big weight. He's making it look very, very comfortable. There's rep number nine. Easy. He's making this look effortless. Look how he sort of punches it and catches it at lockout. He's not hes not really pressing the weight. It's an explosive movement, lots of leg power. And just a reminder, this is the same weight as myself. So 100 kilos, he's is that smashing the it over there. There we go. Easy as that. <laughs> Easy, that was that was no problem. And I, I think, think he, he has more a few seconds him. left. There was, yeah, that was there's... a timer just went off there. So he had a few, he probably had about two more reps in him there. Uh, the timer very, just went off. Very, very comfortable. And we're going to have a little replay of how efficient and how smooth that was for Novikov. He, he's an extremely well-trained athlete in that movement. Every single rep from the first to the last looked the same. It was flawless. Flawless. Just see the, the, the initial swing. He's not using any arms at all, I think, in this movement. The His shoulders he... won't be fatiguing. The way he keeps the the, bar, the one end of the barbell right tucked in behind his neck, over onto the other trap, and then lots of leg power, punches it overhead, very fast lockout. He's not trying to press it out. He's trying to punch it and catch it at lockout. That's one thing with the giant dumbbell as well. As soon as you start actually using the shoulders and pressing power, you'll just you'll blow yourself out. So he's, he's so efficient in using his full body to power up through the implement. Look at uh, the generating the power every, from the legs. Every single rep, right under his center line. He's not kind of letting the dumbbell get away from him. A mistake a lot of people make is they punch away from them, and then it's just all on the delts. It's going to come like, flying down. Every rep, he gets under it, nicely tight into his and head. Th that's a new technique I've seen where he's actually letting the, the dumbbell come down, um, almost a thumbs down position uh, to the front, which is... A similar, similar technique to Derek Poundstone, you were saying? Yeah, very similar. Derek was always very, very good at making sure the dumbbell came down in the same place. You see a lot of people, they press and then they just drop it. Dump it, yeah. And then it would go anywhere. Whereas yeah, Derek yeah. used to control it down in front of him, touch the floor, straight back up. He, Derek actually kept hold of the dumbbell, whereas um, Novikov has the confidence to let go of it almost. Yeah. And that's one that. thing as well. Uh, the athlete is allowed to use both hands to bring it to the shoulder, but must press overhead single arm. Um, I say press for Novikov. He, he's literally just Look jumping. Look how high this. his elbow is. It's just perfect technique. If anyone is wanting to get good at this event, watch this man. His technique is absolutely perfect. It's phenomenal. And, and he had... Tight think, into the neck. Elbow really high. Lots and lots of leg power. Maybe a tiny bit of fatigue coming in towards the end. His tricep had to do a little bit, a little bit of work at the end there. But that was very, very efficient. Very effective. The man is a world record holder. He is. He is indeed the world's ultimate strongman record holder with a giant dumbbell for reps. That was no problem at all for him. 
Excellent. And he had he had a few more in the bag. We are a community dedicated to those who love fitness and food. We have a mission to show that you can pursue your personal fitness goals and enjoy the process. We are committed to creating a community where you can be and should be proud of your body. No matter what stage of the fitness journey you are on. From fat to fit. Hit them PRs, make them gains, and eat that donut. Join the brand, join the message, join the movement. As a record holder, catching his breath, and you know, like we said, he's a he's a calm, calculated man. There was a little bit of a, a cheer, but it, it wasn't huge. You know, we've seen we've seen guys a lot happier after events. I'm sure internally, he's still very happy, but they don't show their emotions as much. Well, Novikov obviously being the first to actually attempt and set this record. There's no other records for giant dumbbell in terms of hundred kilos. 75 seconds so he will be the initial and record holder for this um, event so let's see who we can sort of put up to maybe pinch it off him what do yeah, we think it, i'm sure there's a think few he guys can hold this for a while i think there's a few guys i think he could beat it watching that performance there and i think that i think there's a couple of guys that could challenge it i mean when it comes to dumbbells kilius koski is extremely good yeah, extremely that, good. That, and that was a bit of a Usain Bolt attempt. Where he, there's, a, there's a little bit left in the tank. Yeah. He can yeah. push it further. And, it, you know, we've, we've seen with Zadrunas on the log in the past, how he, he, if he broke a record, he didn't really destroy his record. He was just cre he just crept it up and up and up and kept beating his own record. Maybe that's, um, you know, Alexei's plan is, is to come back and beat it again. The key maybe to longevity and the key to gaining strength, I think, is keeping some in the tank. If you want a long career, definitely. You know, we've seen you know someone like Zadrunas who has had an extremely long career just progress slowly, if you like, over time. The, the, some of the guys that improve extremely quickly, they, they, their careers are a lot shorter. So it's it's good to, to leave a little bit in the tank and, and just keep progressing. I think we're going to have a, a little interview or a few words from Novikov. Excellent. I love this guy in the intro as well. He was brilliant. He was great. Yeah, Yuri, <laughs> Yuri. He's Yuri. He's a great guy. Great guy. Excellent. We're just waiting on Novikov catching his breath. Yuri's saying, take your time. <laughs> He's the one that's done the hard work today. Yeah. Oh, 
I'm, I, I'm, I'm interested to hear from him. I'm sure he thinks he can do more. He, he just looked so comfortable still, even on that last rep. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what he says about what he's got in store for us in the future. I think uh, a world strongest man, or sorry, world's ultimate strongman podium is definitely on the cards for him. Oh, definitely. I mean, he made it look so easy. A bit, you know, when when athletes make records look this easy, for people that don't understand the weights, it's extremely hard to sort of get your head around it. But there's professional strongmen that can't do that. Not for one. You know, there's guys that could fail that for one rep, and, and he's just banged out, you know, double figures like it was a warm up. <laughs> Are we going to hear from him? There's his big brother there. Yeah, it's great Getting to his, see. Oh, the, <laughs> he's got the, the beard comb he's, out before his interview. He's combing his <laughs> hair as well. Like, this kid, forget about it. I, I, had to, I, I like this kid a minute ago. Now, you know, he's just showing off. Uh, that hair won't be there for much longer. Make the most of it. <laughs> well, he's got to look good for the interviews. He does indeed. He's ready yeah. now. Right now, he's, that's, now, that's, now he was... that's, that's what he's been making us wait for. <laughs> he's ready. That was brilliant. <laughs> now you hold on to that hair for as long as you can, but <laughs> <laughs> he really does have a bright future, though. I mean, twenty-three years old. He's been to the Arnold's, done well there. He's been to World's Strongest Man. He's won international shows all over the world. He's come here. He's got this record, and at twenty-three years old, I didn't do my first Worlds till twenty-five. Mark Felix didn't do his first Worlds till about 37, 38. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, he's got a, a good future ahead of him. Uh, definitely. So, Alexi, it was extremely strong and fast. How do you feel after breaking a new world record? Thank you. I'm really tired, but I'm really happy. Uh, for this record. <laughs> nice. So I believe you see only a cameras in front of you, but what about virtual audience? Do you feel their support? Uh, you're right. I see only camera, but I feel all people, all support. Thank you very much. That's nice. Maybe some new plans for your fans. Maybe you know uh, what will be next step for you. Uh, yes. My next step for uh, future is Europe's strongest man in August. See you all in the future. So we hope you'll be become a champion, yeah? I hope, yes, thank you. Okay, and maybe some last few words for your fans, maybe something inspiring. No excuse, only way up. Nice, thank you. It was Alexei Noviko with his new world record. Thank you very much. And you heard it from the man himself. No excuses. The only way is up. And uh, Novikov, he certain, certainly was to live by. So that's it from us at World's Ultimate Strongman, the Feats of Strength series over in Ukraine, where Novikov just smashed out the world record giant dumbbell for reps, 100 kilos in 75 seconds. Next week, we have Jan and Lovelace, who's going to attempt uh, Atlas Stone Hoist world record. Uh, what do we think, Laws? Is that going to be an interesting one for us to watch? Obviously, the first female um, as part of the series. Yeah, first female, and she's a lightweight athlete as well. This is it's, it's a girl I've seen a little bit of, in the, obviously, being from the UK. She's you know making some waves over here. Incredible deadlifter. She's an incredible stone lifter. I'm looking forward to seeing something different next week. It's going to be really good for, for the people watching. And um, for, for the female athletes as well, I think the fact they're getting this opportunity along with the men is absolutely brilliant. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing that one. Obviously, bringing the spotlight on athletes that we wouldn't normally see 
um, in terms of the big competitions, the Hathor, Bjornsons, the Brian Shaws. So it's going to be an interesting one for the strongman community. From myself and Big Laws, stay safe and uh, stay strong. Cheers.